Hey everybody, it's Chelsea from Painted Layers. Welcome back to my sewing studio. Today we're going to learn how to make this high front top from an old shirt that you might find at the thrift store. I found one with this really cute snake skin pattern. I think it turned out really great. You want to learn how to make it? Stay tuned. The original piece was this button up snake print shirt. I really liked the pattern, but the style of the shirt was just kind of boring and basic. It was also a little too small for me. So I wanted to transform it to give it a more wild and tropical vibe. And the first thing I do is grab my rotary cutter and use my mat to cut the top of the shirt off. I try to leave as much room as possible so that this shirt is long enough. Next I use scissors to cut off the sleeves. I then cut the sleeves lengthwise. Next I use my tailor's chalk and ruler to make a line where I want the slit to be. Mine is approximately 8 inches from the bottom. I grab my seam ripper and have some buttons that need to be removed. I then grab my scissors and cut along that line on both sides right up until the side seam. Now I want to add both sleeves to both sides of the shirt to make the wrap. I use my ruler and my rotary cutter to cut the sleeve to match this rectangular part. I also want to remove the curve of the sleeve just to make it easier to sew. Then I use the first cut sleeve as a pattern for the second one. Next, I'm going to take my serger and serge these two pieces together. After I have done that to both sides, I'm going to use my serger to serge the raw edges. I'm using this as a hem, and the stitch that I'm going to use is a rolled hem. My serger just has a switch in the front that you turn to get that stitch. The thread will be showing so you want to use a color that's going to match the fabric. I use black here because it matched with the snake print pattern. When you get to the front of the shirt you're going to have a right angle shape to sew. And how you sew an inside corner with the serger with the rolled hem is you pull the fabric straight and you just keep on sewing. Thank you. 
I later decided I didn't like the look of the cuffs left on the sleeves, so I cut those off and then hemmed them with a rolled hem. Next, I needed this front part to be elastic and stretchy so that it didn't hang down. What I'm using is this elastic thread that you wind by hand onto the bobbin that goes on the bottom of the machine. And the top thread you want to use the same color as you did with the serger. That thread is going to be on the top and then the elastic thread is going to show on the inside. I did two lines of straight stitches along the front with the elastic thread on the bottom to get the ruffled look that I needed. And here is the final result. I think this design is much more fitting for this pattern. I use an elastic band to keep the tie together in the front because it felt more comfortable and more secure. I hope you enjoyed this refashion and get a chance to make your own.